Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest video. This is a uh, just a observation video. In in this video, I have a couple of psychological observations for you. I'm going to talk a little bit about my pilgrimage, about my training. Put my backpack on and walked with it for the first time yesterday. Oh, I got to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> and I walked again today with my backpack, and uh, it brought up a couple of things. Let's do the intro and then I'll get right into that and we'll, I'll tell you about it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, days, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model box and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Uh, welcome back. So, as you might know or might not know, I'm going on a pilgrimage in Spain. I'm going to do three countries in Europe. I'm already booked for that this spring and summer. And I'm training. And my training involves walking six days a week. Yesterday, for the first time, I put my backpack on and I half packed it with um, gear. I don't want to go full pack yet. I, I'm easing into it. And I did my walk. And today I did it again. I half packed with my backpack, went out walking, and a couple of interesting observations for you. Um, first thing is I noticed that, seeing as I've been walking for months now in my city, I get a good sense for traffic people, how they behave in cars, and how they let me cross, and how they're observant of me as a pedestrian. So I got a good sense for that. But the past couple of days, it's been a little bit different. People have been a lot more courteous to me. <laughs> you know, and um, there's a, I, I think there's a couple of reasons for that. The first reason is, well, courtesy. When, we, when you see another human being under a burden, in my case, a big backpack, you tend to give them a little more, more leeway. You'd be a little more courteous, a little more kinder. Let him go. Let the guy cross. He's carrying that big old backpack. He's on a mission. He's got a goal. Or he's, you know, he's, I don't want to say struggling, but so people have been much more courteous in cars, letting me walk and cross and get across the street and all kinds of things like that. And that, that's one reason is just courtesy. The second reason I think is curiosity. So you're just driving down the street, you're going to the store, you're going to the supermarket, or you're going to work, you see a big old guy walking down the street with a big old backpack, and you're a little bit curious. You, If the chance comes up, he's going to walk in front of you across the street, you're going to slow down and stop and give him room so you can check him out as he's walking by. Who is this guy? What's going on? Z. you know, is he local? Is he walking across the country? What's he doing? Why has he got that big backpack? You know, so curiosity and, um, you know, just cur common courtesy. Uh, that is interesting. We do pe treat people differently depending on how they're dressed and their milieu, right? Their, their overall uh, uh, perception of how they are. You know, we treat a person differently when they're wearing a suit than when they're wearing a bikini, right? Or whatever, depending on what they got with them. You know, um, a baseball hat is a lot different than a fedora. You know, so we... That's interesting. So I've been treated differently by cars, automobiles, by drivers the past couple of days, and I find that kind of interesting. So here's my second observation. And maybe you can enlighten me on this. I don't know if there's a name for this. But I'm not a big backpacker. I mean, I, I love to travel. I've traveled a fair amount in my life, but not really that much backpacking. I've done some. Uh, I've done, you know, most of my backpacking experience comes from the military. I'm the ex-army. And uh, so I spent a fair amount of time hauling around a big old heavy backpack uh, years ago when I was a younger man. And I was really shocked yesterday after I, you know, I got all my gear, got my backpack packed and I had it ready and I strapped it all on and then I went for my walk and I wasn't a couple of minutes into my walk and I got this strange feeling in my heart and my of joy and of I don't know how to describe it, but nostalgia. The, the physical sensation of the straps, the, well, the waist strap, the weight on my back and my hips, of carrying a backpack just took me back in time to those, to my younger years, I guess you could say, to when I was backpacking and when I was rucksacking it, you know. And I, I was like, wow, I didn't realize there's a mind-body connection was touched upon briefly between, you know, between those two things. The connection between mind and body was touched upon there. And, you know, and that, that's a thing as human beings we experience. 
sometimes we don't think about it much, but uh, people do realize that and take advantage of that sometimes. Like, for instance, uh, just as a quick anecto is, if you're feeling depressed, they say, I, I've never tried it, I'm not prone to depression, but um, they say if you just force yourself to smile, it can have a dramatic effect on your depression, right? Um, the physical aspect of going through that motion and making your body do that has an effect on your psychology and in your emotional state. Same thing with like walking. If you're feeling depressed, you strut around and hold your head up high and you put your shoulders back and you walk around confident and, and upbeat and it actually has an effect. The physical motions have an effect on you, your, psycholo your psychology. So there is a connection there between mind and body and I, I felt it yesterday particularly. I felt it a little bit today but really strongly yesterday just carrying the weight of a backpack and everything that that entails and, go, and walking and I, I, it was quite wonderful. So, um, so those are my observations. People's behavior and the uh, haptic memory, I guess you might want to call it haptic memory. <laughs> and uh, so 500 miles in Spain, but I'm also going to, I'm starting the adventure in Rome. I'm going to see the Last Supper. I'm going to see the Sistine Chapel. I'm going to stop in Lourdes in France. I'm, then I'm going to do the 500 mile pilgrimage to right across Spain from east to west. I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. It's booked. And uh, now I'm just training. Uh, you want to follow along? I'm, and now I got this big folder with all kinds of stuff in it. All these ideas and projects that I can do along the way. Now I am a project maker, right? If, if you follow my channel, you know I've made a lot of projects over the years. Probably a thousand. Um, that's not an exaggeration. A thousand. I get a lot of projects that will be involved in this trip to Europe. So you might want to look forward to that. So hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of a thing. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you want to support me in my endeavors and you want to get more in-depth into what I'm doing as far as the adventure and the pilgrimage goes, uh, check me out on Patreon. The link is down below. Um, one more thing. My, the city I live in is an interesting little city. I guess most cities are, right? It's got a history. I've been taking pictures for a week, two weeks now. I've been taking my camera and taking pictures of just all these interesting things. Like, we have a thing called the Rolling Rock, which I think is fascinating. It ended up to be in one of my novels. We have uh, the Lizzie Borden, of course, if you heard of Lizzie Borden, that's my city. And we have some other things. I've got a story about uh, some bells that were rung every day at noon for a hundred years. Isn't that interesting? And the city was committed to do that, and the city did that. Rang the bell 35 times every day for a hundred years. So, thank you very much. More stuff coming. Check out my website at stormthecastle.com. Thank you. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.